in this video I want to tell more and I hope a lot when I have time enough about audio line filters. Uh, they are in my books but in this video I want to make uh, a kind of special video to show much more about all the uh, circuits that I use. Um, it's very important when you want to do experiments with audio filters that you use a one transistor amplifier. Each filter here for instance has a lot of loss. So in certain cases the base frequencies will be pressed down or the high frequencies will be removed. That means that for instance here at the input we have say 0.8 volts out of an mp3 player or a cd player. But here on this point where the filter enters the first transistor stage the signal level is diminished, diminished very very much. So that's the use of this uh, one transistor stage. I've published it earlier. Bias potentiometer, amplification potentiometer 1K, 22K or 25K. The circuit can work between, between 12 and 18 volts. And furthermore it is very very easy to make. Uh, here is a drawing and here we have more or less an electronic circuit. Anyway, um, let's first go to this drawing where I hope I can explain something more about audio filters. I've done that earlier on my YouTube channel, but anyway. We have here, um, for instance, a low cut filter. The capacitor here is responsible for transporting certain um, parts of the audio band, say between 20 Hz and 20 kHz, to the output. So this is a low cut filter. When you use here for instance a, a 4 and 7 capacitor all the high frequencies will be present here but all the low frequencies are not available at the output. Here we have the contrary, it's a high cut filter. For instance when you use here a 1 microfarad capacitor and here we have that mp3 player or cd player. One microfarad, all the high frequencies will go down and you will hear a very dull sound. And here we have a combination. High cut filter and low cut filter and these filters are in fact somewhat useless. Because there's so much loss in general that you can use them and furthermore uh, the whole audio band between say 20 Hz and 20 kHz is more or less removed when you use here uh, high value capacitors and with high value capacitors I mean uh, capacitors in the, in the 100 nanofarad up to 470 nanofarad range. Of course when you have here an audio signal and you use here, here a small value capacitor say 4 N7 and also here the damping is not so big and the output uh, can be good enough. You will uh, hear loss somewhat in the, in the low frequencies of the audio band and somewhat in the higher frequencies of the audio band. But with big value capacitors this is more or less a nonsense filter. This is a better filter and I want to demonstrate that I've made it here. That's the filter. Here is that one transistor amplifier. 
and here is the end amplifier uh, and that's in fact the whole setup here we have here again a CD player or an MP3 player we have here a resistor and when the whole uh, audio band is sent into that amplifier this is a high cut filter so all the uh, high frequencies will be lost but that's important a part of the high frequencies um, are we sending here directly from the input where the whole uh, 20 Hertz up to 20 kilohertz signal is present directly we pass in a certain way that uh, high cut filter and we send it directly to the output so here we have a combined situation at first uh, a big high cut big high cut filter here and a part of the original signal the high frequencies are transported to the end amplifier but on the other hand that's also very important to tell this capacitor makes the amplifier frequency dependent because um, the capacitor here is a frequency dependent element and that means that we have here a frequency dependent amplifier with some uh, low loss and some high loss here again kind of uh, situation that's in fact uh, uh, useful to show the properties but is not usable in practice all frequencies can be lost both high frequencies and low frequencies and especially when you use high value capacitors say 100 nanofarad or 0.47 nanofarad anyway here we have the another circuit the real practical circuit again that one transistor amplifier here is the filter and I want to demonstrate now what happens when we uh, shortcut the capacitor here say the low cut filter and when we switch in the high cut filter and here we see that potentiometer of 100k uh, that gives the effect that part of the signal can be uh, sent back here and a part of the signal is sent into that amplifier and very important here we set the amplification there's always a lot of loss in the filter and even that amplification sets in a certain way the sound characteristic of that filter the music that I will play here uh, to make the power supply lead dead for all kinds of influences kind of LF filter the use transistor the BC547 and this is for everyone that wants to do experiments uh, a good at, a good idea one microfarad microfarad all audio frequencies pass or almost all audio frequencies are damped out be it in a series co uh, capacitor or a, cap a capacitor that bridges the audio line 4 and 7 only the high frequencies pass or only the high frequencies are damped out and with 50 nanofarads it's more or less a medium situation so uh, not all the frequencies out of the audio spectrum will pass Six volts and amplifier was published earlier. 
and here is the filter. I want to demonstrate that now. At first here a capacitor that separates the CD player or the MP3 player from the electronics of the filter. And they are here. This is that one transistor amplifier. And um, the reason is that this filter must be able to be used in all kinds of situations. So here we have now the separating capacitor. Here we have the other capacitor. And here is a 1500 picofarad capacitor. And now it's open and that means that this 1500 picofarad capacitor is active. And all the low frequencies are not able to be uh, sent out of the MP3 player to the end amplifier. So now I uh, shortcut that very small capacitor. And you can immediately hear that uh, more bass frequencies are present. And when I lift up the volume of the one, of the one transistor amplifier, you can also hear a very substantial change in how the sound sounds. So I put it somewhat back to level. And now I'm gonna, uh, this one is now shortcut, so we have all the frequencies here present. And now I'm gonna use the high cut filter. Now we have used the high cut filter, the, the switch is open, there's no uh, high cut and uh, that means that we have a very low, a very ba much bass sound. Perhaps I'm explaining this not very precise but Make the circuit and test it, you will surely find good results. Open and close. And when I turn that potentiometer, you can hear that the sound completely changes. Turn the potentiometer now, the potentiometer of 100k. This is a very substantial effect on the sound. And furthermore, I want to demonstrate now the backup backcoupling effect. From the collector lead here, there is a small capacitor that sends the signal back here to this location. Here we have the we hear different effects. And let's turn the potentiometer. So let's take another capac backup link capacitor, a capacitor of 0.22 microfarad. When we do the same, we hear another sound that can be changed with the help of that potentiometer. Very substantial changes. So, and let's open the, let's open the switch that sets the, uh, the high frequency loss. It's now open or it's closed anyway.
now it's closed I think anyway it's an experimental circuit try to use it do some experiments I've seen that my camera goes further than 50 minutes so anyway that's that's good so let's open and now we they have the, fa the situation where that capacitor here uh, takes away all the low frequencies. Let's turn the potentiometer again. And let's open this. Turn the potentiometer again. And let's do the same with another value capacitor here, that one. This is a very small value capacitor. It is not able to send the whole uh, audio band back to the one transistor amplifier. Let's do the same things. Let's turn the potentiometer. We don't hear much effect. We close here now the we close now this uh, 1500 uh, picofarad capacitor so that all the frequencies out of the audio band are transported. And you can hear somewhat more bass. Let's turn the potentiometer. We have a dull sound now. When you like it, of course, you can like this sound in your room. Let's see what happens when we give the one transistor amplifier more amplification. Let's see what happens when we have given now the whole circuit more amplification, turn the potentiometer. Let's see what happens when we do this switch. And turn the potentiometer. Far too much signal, far too much signal. So we have to limit the amplification of the one transistor amplifier. And let's do again the potentiometer here. Open the switch. So, it was more or less all to tell. Uh, switch off the power supply now. And uh, the only thing.